With its small towns, vast stretches of farmland, and relatively homogeneous population, it would be hard to argue that the Midwestern state of Iowa is representative of the larger United States. But when it comes to the presidential election process, the first in the nation's state holds an outsized influence. We like to say that the Iowa caucuses are not um, first because they're important, they're important because they're first. And have been for 44 years, giving the state unique access to candidates who spend months lavishing attention on the voters here who could be critical in determining their fate. We are blessed that way. It's great that we're able to talk to these people, find out what they stand for. We don't always believe everything they say. They're making decisions that are based on months and months of vetting of the candidates. Iowa's effect is often to weed out players who maybe can't make it out of here, who don't have that kind of organization. It narrows the field. This is a job interview. Historically, only those candidates who finish in the top third or fourth place make it out of Iowa with enough momentum to continue in the national race. But critics say because of the time-consuming and somewhat laborious process involved, Iowa's caucus system caters to the more activist wings of the parties, not the population as a whole. So it takes about a three-hour commitment on a probably fairly dark, cold, maybe snowy evening. So you do have to have a fair bit of um, reason to show up for, for this event. And that does tend to leave certain people out of the mix. Voters in the Hawkeye State say this year could be different. Like in the rest of the country, frustration is high, and many who have never before participated say this may be their year. I've never really been ready to get the Democrats out of there like I am now. Ready for some change. I will be participating in a caucus for the very first time on Monday, and I support Bernie Sanders. I think you've got a lot of people that are just really upset with the way government has gone. As we'll is always the case, turnout is key, and whether action follows those words remains to be seen. It should be noted that Iowa's record of choosing the eventual nominee is mixed at best. While it has gotten the Democratic candidate right in the past few races, the last Republican nominee to win the Iowa caucuses was George W. Bush in 2000. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.